My name is Marnie Zimmerman. I teach seventh grade reading at Northley Middle School. And this is our second year for One Book, One School. And we were really excited when we picked Unstoppable by Tim Green. We never thought that Tim Green would come to our school and talk to all of our students and sign so many books for all of our kids. It was so great when we watched him signing the books. He was talking to the students, asking them things about themselves. The book Unstoppable is a great story. It appeals to the boys initially because of the sports and our girls that love sports. And then it goes deeper. The poor main character, he suffers from cancer. He starts off as a foster child. He doesn't even have a family. The message that comes through in the book Unstoppable is kindness and how important it is to be kind to people and how important it is to be kind to yourself and above all, how important it is to be unstoppable. I really like this book because like, I never thought of like a teenage boy like our age had to go through all this like he did. And like just to see how many troubles he had and like you never know what people are going through at home. It starts with something you can relate to, a normal teenage boy, but then it becomes into this some to something that makes you accept more people's problems in life, like when Harrison goes through cancer and chemotherapy. He's like had a, so far, I guess, a really interesting life and like been really successful and I just thought it was really interesting to uh, learn more about him. I bought um, the book Football Hero by Tim Green and I like Football Hero because I want to be a, a good football player when I grow up and I really like football and that's what I do for fun. I play a lot of other sports too. I'm very excited that Tim Green was here and signed my books. Every month here at Northley, we select students that we consider to be unstoppable for many different qualities, for how they treat others, for how they work in school, and overall, the qualities that make someone unstoppable. We really hope that our students are excited after meeting Tim Green today. They see that someone can be both an athlete and a writer, that you can be tough outside, but really be very, very kind inside. Tim Green's enthusiasm towards writing, towards his sports, towards his family, towards our students was incredible. I think this was a great experience and I hope that next year we'll have a one book, one school and we can have that author come to our school as well. I was gonna read, I was gonna read the first chapter. Nah, yeah, I will. I'm gonna read the first chapter. So. Just you guys can hear. Tommy knew from the beginning that this moment was going to be special, the kind that could change his life forever. Because Tommy Rust had hit a two-run over at the bottom of the third to tie the game, it was only fitting that he would be the one to step up to the plate with bases loaded in the bottom of the final inning. Because he had hit the ball into the woods further than anyone in the history of Hawthorne Creek Park Little League, everyone knew he was capable of another. A grand slam home run would give his team the four runs it needed to win. And because Drew Franchot was the best pitcher in the league and could actually throw a curveball, even though his father had prohibited it because of his age, it was only fitting that the count was 3-2 when Tommy stepped out of the box, spit on his hands, and swung the bat without a blink in his icy stare. Drew Franchot stared right back from atop the mound, and it was as if everyone in the park held his or her breath when Tommy scuffed the dust and stepped back into the box. Do it, Drew! Do it! Drew's father cupped his hands around his mouth and leaned into the metal mesh of the backstop. I am giving you permission, you hear me? Win this thing! Tommy was no dummy. He knew what that meant. But he also knew that unlike most 12-year-olds, he could actually hit a curveball. So he wiggled his cleats down in the dirt, adjusting them for the incoming pitch. Drew wound up and in it came. Tommy saw the spin. He could do that to see it exactly the curveball he expected. He swung. Crack. Tommy didn't even drop his bat. He had to swing alongside as he took a slow, tentative step down the first baseline. The ball was gone. But was it fair? It was close. And the umpire paused a moment, deciding what he had or hadn't seen before he shouted, Foul ball! And pointed his finger toward the stands. The deflated feeling of such a near hit only increased the tension of the situation. That's when Tommy felt a strong hand.
grasped his shoulder. He turned and blinked and stuttered when he saw his father. Tommy, come on, we are going now. Chapter one. You guys have been fabulous. Please remember, wait, one, two things. One, one, do or say something kind. Find someone who's different. Look at people, value them, look in their eyes. Don't worry about the outside. But go be kind, do something kind, and find books that you love and enjoy. They'll make you better here and better here. And keep reading. Thank you all.